If I was to describe a relation in one sentence, I would describe relation from set A to set B like this. Relation is a rule which transforms qualifying values of x into y values of another set B. Or in other words, relation R is just like a magic box which gets values from a set A. Let's call this set A and it supplies x values and magic is performed on those x values belonging to A and the output we get is y that's totally another value and it belongs to another set B. This magic box is called relation. This is the rule which transforms or converts x values belonging to A into y values belonging to B. So formally we can define relations that relation from set A to set B is a rule which assigns y belonging to B for qualifying values of x belonging to A. Now that collection of qualifying values of x is called domain of the relation. Therefore we can define domain of the relation collection of values of x belonging to A for which there exists a y belonging to B such that the pair xy belongs to R is called domain of relation. Or if we have a relation in tabular form then collection of all the first elements in every ordered pair is called domain and collection of second elements of every ordered pair is called range of the relation. Let's take an example of a set A here. Let A is a set with elements A, B and there is another set B with elements 1 and 2. Now instead of writing A cross B and then finding a subset of A cross B and then saying that this is a relation from A to B, we are directly writing a relation R from A to B in such a way R from A to B is a relation. Obviously this is a subset of A cross B such that R is equal to A1 A2 and B1. Suppose these are the only three pairs in this relation. Then if we want to represent this relation with the help of arrow diagrams, this would be called set A and this would be called set B and we are going to write elements of set A which will be A and B and here we will have elements of set B which are 1 and 2. Now the linkage or the relation between two sets from A to B is called R Therefore, it's important that we write the name of this relation R over here and then draw arrow diagrams linking A to 1. So this is A to 1 and then there is another pair A2. So A to 2, this is another arrow that links A to 2 and B to 1, this is another pair. So here we are linking about this. Now in this way if A1 belongs to R, if A1 belongs to R, we can write it in number of ways. We can also write this 
one is an image of a under r so one is equal to image of a under r we can write it like this element by element and if the second else uh, pair a2 this also belongs to r then we can similarly write 2 is image of a under r so third pair is b1 b1 this belongs to r and we can certainly say that one again in the here is image of b under r now these a a and b this is a collection of first elements of ordered pairs contained in the relation this collection of first elements in of every ordered pair in the relation is called domain of relation so collection of collection of first elements first elements of ordered pairs ordered pairs in relation r is equal to domain of domain of relation r and what is that collection that collection is a again a and b i intentionally called it a collection not a set because in set you cannot write a repeated element but in collection you can therefore you can see that a repeats its a is written twice because it appeared in two different pairs this collection of every first element in a pair is called domain of the relation and if we were to use diagram uh, arrow diagram we can also see that those elements of a from where arrow originates collection of those elements of a is called domain and here you can see that there are two arrows which are originating from a so a is being written twice and there is only one arrow that is originating from b element means that b has only one image and a has two images which are written over here as well that one is image of a and then two is an image of a it means a has two images that's why a is appearing twice and because b has only one image so that's why b is single one time this is called domain of the relation and if we take collection of the second elements of ordered pairs in the relation that will be called range of the relation so range of relation range of r would be equal to collection of second elements so this would be 1 2 1 1 2 1 this is because 1 appears in the first as a second element of the first pair 2 appears as a second element of the second pair and again 1 appears so in other words the collection of images here one is image of a two is image of a and one is image of a the collection of images is called range and the set a collection of all those elements of a for which there exists an image is called domain of relation so we covered tabular form and arrow diagram let's take a look on this representation in which if we have one two three and four these are elements here and one 
2, 3, 4 and here we have these dots these are the dots representing the relation this is a graphical representation of the relation from set x to another to same set x so r from x to x is represented is represented by the graph find domain find number one domain of r domain of r we have to find and we also need to find range of r range of r here we need to take look on this representation and figure out what would be its tabular form one will appear four times if we were to write this in tabular form because against one there are four dots so the domain would be we can either write it in tabular form let's write it in tabular form and name this relation as r and if we were to look at this would be 1 1 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 for every pair for every dot there is a pair 1 4 and then 2 2 2 2 2 3 2 4 and 3 3 3 3 and then 3 4 3 4 and then at the end 4 4 this is the tabular representation of the same relation which was given in graphical form and now domain would be equal to domain of r would be equal to the collection of all the first elements of ordered pairs in the relation so one will appear four times one 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 and one two will appear three times two 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 three will appear twice three three this will be the domain and range would be similarly range is equal to range of relation r is equal to collection of second elements present in the ordered pairs so here one two three four one two three four and then two three four two three four and then three four four three four four and we can certainly write it in a better way but it's not important that you write it in an orderly form or just like in the order they appear so this is domain and range of relation which was represented in graphical form so the best way of representing or describing a relation is mathematical form so let's write it in mathematical form mathematically mathematically domain of relation domain of r is equal to collection of all elements x where x belongs to a such that x y belongs to the relation r so this is a nice short and completely scientific representation of the same thing which we have said earlier in the form of definition and range range of r 
range of relation is collection of second elements where y belongs to b and x y belongs to r this is the definition the simple decent way of defining domain and range so this will conclude our discussion about domain and range at this level obviously there is lot more which we can cover but at different level uh, of mathematics but for now at this level this is enough and in next lesson we will be starting functions